ruined our game. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, well, oh yeah, I never asked this. Uh, so. It is our destiny. Yes. Ha ha ha. ha. Your <laughs> destiny. Ah, the puns. Okay. So, it, uh, Destiny came uh, as a bun- the game made by Bungie. Mm-hmm. Uh, people that made Halo and Master Chief and yep. all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, uh. We know. Yeah. It, I'm excited about this game. Yeah. Very much. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm get, kind of guessing by how we kept reco- uh, playing after we ran out of disk space for our computers to play anymore. Right. <laughs> so, even. Uh, how late did we go? Exactly. I don't know. It was like eleven thirty ish. I thought it was midnight. Somewhere around. No. Somewhere around. No. It was late. No, because I got home like at midnight. Okay. Well, you don't live that far. It was late. Surprisingly, it takes me like twenty minutes to get there. Yeah. I don't know why. Let's I just say it's late. It was, it was late. It was late. It was past our bedtime. Yep. <laughs> okay. But I love and the yeah. multiplayer feel of this game. Yeah. So uh, the way I kind of feeling about uh, thinking about how to do this review is. We'll kind of talk about the main points a little bit, and then we'll take turns giving our pros and cons, how we felt about it. Right. And then, at the very end, we'll give our score, and then that will be it. Alright. Alright. Uh, I, I did get some news about the Destiny beta. Uh, so, 4.6 million people played the Destiny beta. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, that's across all systems, I think. Across all days? Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. But I'm talking like uh, individual accounts. Oh, okay. You, okay. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. So, like, but that's like, you know, PS4, Xbox One, mm-hmm. 360, PS3. Yeah. Uh, no PC yet. Tier for me. <laughs> like, for me, that I played in Halo 1 and 360, does that count as two? Did you use two the points? same game tag? Did you use Mr. Fluff's 83? Oh, yeah. Then, yes. It's the same one. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. So, like, that's why I'm... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a ballpark number. Just probably give or take a little bit. You know, not why people duplicate accounts count or something. Yeah. It was still a lot, though. Yeah. It is the... for is broke the record for the biggest beta for a new IP. For you, a new what? For a new IP. A uh, new series. Oh, okay. I mean, they, they did this with uh, Halo before, but that was, like, Halo 3 and... I think they did for each. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, did they do it for OD- ODST? I don't think though they did. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't um, like ODST. But yeah, I really like this game. I thought it was very colorful and stuff. Uh, there was, a f- mm-hmm. I had a few faults with it, but we'll get to that. But later. it was the beta. It was the beta. It was the beta. I mean, for a beta, it was pretty complete. It, yeah, they did show a lot. They did show a lot of story, somewhat. Like, usually they don't do that. Usually, like, you know, with Halo, it was just, like, multiplayer maps. You know? Yeah. With this, we actually got the story, which is kind of rare for a beta. So, um, well, what did you guys think of it? Good. In, like, a summary. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I think it might be even better than Halo. That's bold words to say. Because, I know, I know, but you can only do so much of something before it gets old. Me. That's usually, like, with anything, really. Movies, yeah. games, TV. I'm going to have to agree with Mr. Fluffs. I thought it was a pretty good game. It, Very right. solid. Yeah, I mean, Very. it's just the new, yeah, like, the new yeah. generation of new gaming. Generation. And that was a pretty good start. Yeah. With yeah. Destiny. All right. Uh, but, yeah, like, uh... I think the biggest feature that I was surprised about was like you know being able to connect with people very easily without resistance, and then also like uh, three man teams. Like, I mean, they they do four player co op uh, with everything, you know, like yeah. chores and stuff. But uh, it's, we, di- it's different. It's different with three. It's, it's like yeah. it's balanced. Yeah. Is what I'm feeling. Yeah. So four is too much. I mean, there's too much chaos. But uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah four is too much. Yeah. Plus, like, you have three classes, and then you have three people playing, so I think there's going to be more person. classes. Oh. Okay. Really? I think so. I'm not sure. Five player well, co-op. No. I, well, they're no. Or, no, they're going to... Well, they're going to add more DLC and stuff, to, like, new maps, new areas and stuff. I know that for sure. They might do more classes, too. 
uh, with DLC. Well, it's probably guaranteed with DLC. I, I don't know about when starting. Because it's pretty much the game's going to be running like MMO. There's always going to be new characters, new classes, new races. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New stuff. Updates. Yeah. Forever. So I guess there's like some robot races that you guys played as. The Exos? or What was it called? I don't really Exos, right? I yeah, think. Exos. Exos. I was very confused about my story and more with the beta. I know there was like some blue type of people. I didn't really so, know what that were. <laughs> yeah. I read a little bit about those. Uh, they were like people that went like to another... Like they were human, but then they went to like another uh, planet or something. And then the environment affected them. And over time, at they through changed. generations, they slowly changed. They became hmm. Mr. Manhattan. You know? yeah. yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. So like three main crews and stuff. It, I, I mean... Uh, so we also like on the screen right now. Is, uh, I'm gonna be cutting together our footage from the let's plays and stuff. But uh, originally we were planning to do the raid mission, yeah, uh, which was <laughs> like kind of like a big boss mission thing. But then we had like Skype issues and stuff, and then we kind of gave up. And then I was thinking about later, maybe we'll just record gameplay and stuff. And then Negro was having technical issues. Well, no, that was before. And then we sl- got slowly all online. And then as soon as we were starting to go, the beta ended. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally, as you guys were joining the party, the beta ended. It was... I, I don't know who would end a beta 6 p.m. on Sunday. <laughs> I know. They said Monday. I know. They said Monday. I know. I was expecting, at least, you know, because of we're in the western part of the U.S., I was hoping at least latest, like, 9 p.m. Like, the challenges for, like, Halo Reach or something, it will, it will always reset at 3 in the morning because it was Hawaii time because yeah that was like the latest midnight for for everyone uh, pretty much for, yeah North America yeah much. so I was kind of expecting that or at least midnight Monday but not 6 p.m. Uh, that was pretty weird yeah, yeah. apparently unexpected it was, uh, but apparently it was uh, well known to everyone else but us but us <laughs> yeah yeah no wonder it was like pretty empty at yeah. the end uh, I also oh. found uh, I also woke up uh, or I got on uh, an hour after the server stress test. You know the thing that we were gonna all get online to get the banner thing. Uh, did you get I, it? No, I don't think I got it. I think I. I, 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 I think th- you got it because you were on. You had to be on. I it. was on though, but it never said like, "Oh, congratulations! Thank you for I don't doing it, something." I don't think it tells you. It doesn't tell you. I don't, so I guess it just records. I think it's that like you one were of the on it. Like congratulations, kind of thing. No. Or, it wasn't, and I even went to. Oh to, wait, um, I know now. It's uh, you get it when you get the full game. It, it just like you registered. Yeah, I did read that. It, it, yeah, yeah. Because I know it was for the full game, but I was hoping to like okay, congratulations, you just some earned, kind of message. Or yeah, something. something. Or uh, I, I even went to that one chick that gave you the messages. I I saw yeah. nothing. Also, I found out uh, you know like how you run around to get all of your. Uh, loot stuff that's on the ground. If you go back to the hub right after the mission, all the loot that you missed was in that uh, mailbox thing. So, oh. oh, yeah? Yeah, it kind of made it convenient. I mean, I read it online, but yeah. Nice. Hmm. So another thing that was uh, un- uh, that I didn't know about was uh, I actually was able to get to the moon because for a limited amount of time on Sunday, you uh, people could go on to the moon and play some missions and stuff for just like an hour or two. What? Yeah, so actually, uh, I went on, on I, but yeah, I leveled up, and then I'm like, oh, the moon's open, I guess that's the next level. And I went on there and played the mission, and then I was like, I couldn't get back there, I'm like, huh, and I found out later. I mean, if I knew that it was so special, I would record some gameplay or something of uh-huh. it, but I, apparently I wasn't told. Well, how was it? It was interesting. Uh, there, you, you like it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. <laughs> uh, it's, how was the gravity? Or The gravity was just like... Or regular f- oh. it, was, it was terraformed oh okay I think I mean I don't know if there was oxygen but I couldn't jump any higher oh okay. so, so it's pretty much the same yeah it. I'm guessing I mean I know there's gonna be Mars and Jupiter I think but yeah that was another thing is I found out later Um, so on Earth it's just gonna be Russia it's not gonna be any other what? city so it's just that map we played on so we pretty much played a quarter of the game already Really? Yeah. So the maps. Why are kinda... is it just Russia? Yeah, I don't know. It's 
like, part of the lore. They're not planning on taking over another area, like. I guess it, it's we have to start in Russia. Well, where did you read this? Uh, through the game, like all there's a bunch of news stories after the beta ended that came out talking about it and stuff. See, that people, that seems kind of lame. Yeah. Well, because I mean, if we already passed one fourth of it, I have no story from it. I that, that was one thing I kind of like was like at least add one more area because like know. the first part of the game is you get resurrected. In a traffic jam kind of thing, and get no answers about why you died or yeah. what happened. You're kind of just like, "Hey, you were brought back to life. Okay, now go over there." Is that what it was? Yeah, you got brought back to life, and that's how you keep be, I, because be, you I, die saw, I saw the cube thing. I thought he was just looking for a survivor, and he found one, yeah. which was yeah. I thought that's what it was. Right? Yeah, yeah that's what I got. From but I, I, there's no techno. Like, why do we die and then we become these little? sphere of things it, it, nothing was explained and I mean me and Necro didn't get the cutscene but Mr. Fluffs got it because he was got what you, you know there's like the, <laughs> the that, that one cutscene that we we just got low screens and then you actually got the cutscene yeah. with that mask figure thing so that's, that was like I the, think he got it because he killed the boss or like no whatever. he was the party leader so I think that's why I think oh, it was a glitch. Oh. I think oh. it was a glitch for us but oh. we should have seen it but yeah we should have there's the beta for you yeah yeah so yeah, that was one con for me was like story wasn't that strong or wasn't that. I mean, they're probably not gonna tell everything. I mean, uh, I did like. Well, let's hope it's because of the beta that we didn't get anything. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were gonna play the raids and stuff. I, I, well, me, and Mr. Fluss played the raid, the raid mission. Yeah, we, alone, like by ourselves. Uh, are you talking about the spider one? Yeah, you played the spider tank and then you then faced against like a giant eyeball at the end. Yeah. Yeah, because I know there's one mission that we didn't do, uh, where you ra- you're raising some kind of array. Salad. Yeah, like yeah. some salad thing. Yeah, that one. we didn't do that one either. That yeah. was pretty hard. Yeah, that was pretty hard for that a single player. Hard. Yeah, I played by myself. I don't know if you played with anyone, but with the raid, you had to play in parties of three. Uh, so raids are kind of uh, those are why people subscribe to MMOs and stuff. Yeah. Like World of Warcraft and stuff is that's the reason why people keep coming back and playing. It's like the big bosses that are two stories tall that take forever. It took yeah. how long did it take you to get the spider down? Uh, I, I died a lot of times. Oh well, yeah, I died um, a lot. Everyone dies a lot of times in that against that. I, I want to say like one shot, one kill. Thing. Some good, a good thirty minutes. It took me like about an hour for the spider. For the spider. For the spider. It took me about like an hour. About an hour. Um, we, my, uh, my brother was playing it too because I, I, uh, I let him play. Yeah, he could not pass it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just, uh, him and his team just kept on dying. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he played for an hour yeah. there. Well, we, uh, me and my team, we kind of figured out like, okay, one of us has to survive. And so yeah, like, one of them, yeah. one of us like held back, and then the other, me and the other guy went to like the opposite ends of the spire tank. So it's, one would yeah. hit, it would turn, walk slowly towards my side, shoot. I would go run and hide before it hit me. Yeah. And then it would turn back to hit the other guy, and then we kept doing that. And then it wasn't until the end that we realized if you used your special power with the two bumpers, uh-huh. you know, like with mine it was like a like a pulse thing, like a Dragon Ball. Yeah, mine, kind of, mine's that one awesome weapon. Right, gun. the 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 uh, golden fi- pistol. fire pistol, fire pistol, just, like, yeah. smash so, everything. Yeah, but if you use that power, it's that's pretty much Negro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, but if you use that power next to Spire, his uh power core is exposed and then you can shoot it and do like triple damage oh you don't have to use the power oh what do you use no it's just uh i think it's like i want to say after his half of his life is depleted he starts doing that mm. i think you shoot his legs and then he like he he falls yeah he falls and yeah, he I opens his, his core and that's where you shoot him yeah i kept doing the shooting thing uh the, his legs uh but whenever i did the power thing his core would open up and i would just unload into it and then We'll go down a little bit oh, and you did it right next to him? Yeah. Well, my thing I could shoot. It's like a like a Dragon Ball Z ball thing. <laughs> Hamehameha. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> One of those. Oh, yeah, oh, I gotta tell you about something later. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I liked the raids and stuff. Uh-huh. But oh yeah, going back to the moon. Um, there was the equivalent of the ghost, like you know those little bike things. You can. There's actually guns. Okay. On. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So like on the moon, like. You had to kill the enemies, but once you got it, you could actually drive around and shoot. And that made it things a lot easier to do. Oh, wait. Is that what you're talking about? On the moon. Yeah. 
You were like, what were you talking about the Crucible map? I, I don't know. Did you play online against other players, or was it a mission? It was, it was a mission because there was some. I later in the mission, uh, I found a dead uh, player, or was it the? Is it Guardians? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I found the, a dead, there was the like robot a, things. No, there's a there's Guardian with a dead ghost. And it was on the ground, and then it was behind a door. It was next to the door, which opened up, and then there was like a big, huge uh, wizard in there that I defeated, and then it revealed like my ghost is like, oh my, and then they cut to black. So it was kind of like a cliffhanger kind of thing. So oh, nice I, because I you, there there was a um, I don't crucible think, moon map, and there was that a, was like a kind of like played the multiplayer thing. Yeah, there there yeah. was there was a uh, a bike thing. That would actually shoot. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, it's it was kind of it was it was basically the ghost, which was way too overpowered. By yeah. The way. Well, they're gonna bounce out the gear and stuff. Huh. Speaking of gear, uh, what what do you guys think of the gear and loadout system? The upgrade system is awesome. Yeah. I, I love it. I like it. I love it. I like how you, well you you yeah. use your weapon and you unlock yeah upgrades. Well, it's it. not all weapons. It's like special green weapons. And you also okay. got like with the armor too. Yeah, there's also armor. Because if it's white, it doesn't. It have doesn't it. upgrade. No, it doesn't upgrade. Oh. I mean, I was trash. I don't it. think I caught that. Yeah. Well, now you know. Because, uh, my, yeah, my sniper was green. Yeah. Hmm. I also like how you could upgrade your abilities. Yes. Yeah. Also, but, I found out that it's not by use; it's by just random experience. So it's whatever you're oh. doing. So that's just on time. Yeah, uh, I did get up to like my next grenade, and it kind of just like uh, it was kind of like a it was a grenade that split into mini grenades that then exploded into like spikes. Nice. Spikes. Yeah. Uh, mine was similar to that. I th- okay, I threw the grenade and it exploded into little spikes, and if there were enemies nearby, it would just chase them and hit them. That was my upgraded grenade. Mine just exploded. Okay. Well, did you <laughs> upgrade though? Yeah, yeah. Did upgrade. you get the upgrade for the grenade? Well, it's not really like an upgrade for the grenade. It's just, it's, just, it's like a... Mark two. No, it's a type two. Because mine was like... My first grenade was a vortex thing. Like, it was yeah. one thing. And yeah. my second grenade option was... It would split into multiple things. But yeah, yeah, because you, you couldn't have both. You have to, yeah, you you to, to choose one of them. Yeah. Uh, I, did I don't think you, Necro, got the second one. Or maybe his was because like it was way to... it was after level eight. You got to the max level and you still had to keep on keep on playing. Yeah, and then you got it. I did a few uh, bounty missions, which I did like bounty. Uh, there was like a bounty board that you could do. Like uh, yeah, the ones I did were oh yeah, and you had to do those online, right? Uh, there were some online. There were some like you know like melee camp. thirty enemies. Hmm. So I just went around to like level ones and just meleeed them, which is another thing. Melee is a little bit overpowered. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. Punch someone. You could just, just go around. You just like digitize into something. Well, that's yeah. all. What I did. I didn't use my gun. I just went around. I even meleeed a like a level five guy to death. Uh, the, it was what's it called? The captain or something? Like that? Yeah, like level five. Those guy. captains. Yeah. I mean, I was level eight, but still, yeah. it was a little bit overpowered. I mean, I had the. It was like the Borderlands, like uh, sirens melee. Yeah. Ability, so. Yeah. How many? How many? How you say? So it. I mean, <laughs> visually, it looked overpowered and. Yeah, it felt overpowered, so it was, it was a little bit different for me. I don't know about, like, a knife and a fist. That, like, reminds me of a funny story. I was playing, like, online, and there was a bunch of guys, and they were trying to... It was, like, a whole mass army of uh, the aliens. They were fighting against each other, and then you had some of the guardians that were fighting, and I just went in and used my superpower on them, oh. and everyone just, <laughs> like... Everyone just, like, obliterated, and it was like... Thanks to me, though. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. see that? That was me. Yeah. But like, they all looked at me like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that was been me to another con thing was that, well, I mean, like, an open world and stuff, and also, yeah. on a few missions we did, like, they were like, you know, you can have, like, one to three people. Yeah. There wasn't that many enemies to go around. It seemed, like, very that smart. That is true. I didn't really like that. Like, yeah, that is Mi- true. Mr. Fluss would charge in and, like, Kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. That's what I pretty much did. But yeah. There well, was I mean, an area. I mean, like, w- when you play by yourself, it's a very different game. I did like that. Yeah. There's, there's like, an area, uh, like, in the old Russia one where it's, like, two separate, uh, like, the alien species, and they're actually fighting against yeah, each other. Yeah, I don't remember oh, yeah. why they're fighting. Yeah. Yeah, Because I they look the that. same to me. 
like they're like a little, it, like there was it was like some was, crawlers, right? Yeah, they were almost like a uh, uh, like a bug or like an insect yeah, yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah. And then you had the, uh, the the ones that look like the uh, elites. Yeah, yeah, and they were fighting against each other. But but you came in and broke it up and then ended yeah. up killing both of them. Killing, but like yeah, I there think, is an option. You can let them fight each other, and then the yeah. winner you just take out. But yeah, going back to like the enemies and stuff. I mean, in the raid there was plenty of enemies. There was too many. There was too nothing. Many. There was too many. There was enough of them. Oh, those, those little flying drones. Those are annoying. Oh, the the drags or, or the, uh, I don't know. I'll just call them like drones. Drag. It was like the little, little red drones. Yeah. It was like a little computer thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah those. Do you know what I hate? Those like thralls. Those like things that run at you really fast. And With the, the little are, like knives. Yeah, they have the knife things. Oh yes. What I used to do is. Yeah. Um, I would like just punch him and jump, punch yeah. him and jump. That's what I used to do. But, like you walk in that dark room, I hit just appear out of nowhere, and they come in like, groups. Oh! They come in like groups of four. Yeah, and that's always what, that was, that's those. What yeah, like in the raid, the, there was like a mission where or uh, part where you were like in like a, a sewer system or something, and you had to like fight like a bunch of enemies in that tight area. But the main enemy that I hated the most was the sniper or something. Like it would one shot you or something. Sniper? Oh. Yeah, there was like a sniper that would just like instantly kill you. But like, was it one of those guys that had like the the two arms? Or, or I don't know. It was just like a guy. Two that arms. I, I didn't really pay attention. They all to have them. two I, arms. I was just trying to I avoid do? the bullets. Oh. You mean four arms? Oh, the four arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's four arms, not two arms. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> two arms. Two arms on each side. <laughs> uh, That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was just, I just saw like a blue light, and then all of a sudden I was dead. That's what I saw. <laughs> just I, like the spider. I, 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 I just like. Yeah. Well, you'll probably see it in the video or something. Mm, maybe. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I. it felt like there was... You could use some enemies here and there a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't like how, like, the drop-in, drop-out of, like, multiplayer, where you would be in a place with, like, random people, and then all of a sudden you would go into, like, a building, and then they would disappear. And, like, oh, yeah, Well, that's cause... because they weren't following the mission, right? Right. It, it, it was like... You, it, it felt... Yeah, they were just randomly killing. That's what they were doing. No, no, I'm talking about like drop in, drop out multiplayer. The the mechanic, not like when well, you're playing against yeah. other one. No, like, like you're in open Russia. You uh-huh. go into the mission, which is in uh-huh. the building with three players. Yeah, we and walk to the building, they're, and then they're just not there. Yeah, they disappear. Yeah, they leave. They the party it logs you out of the server. Yeah, and puts you like a, but it, like you're it's saying that is that what happened? Yeah. Because there was there was a part where I was going to the mission with three people and then they weren't there and I was yeah. getting my ass kicked because I was alone. Oh, I like but like you're saying that like they should allow like if you wanted to that they come with. No, you. no, like in our let's play, we were in a team. Yeah, yeah, and we, we all went in there. Yeah, right. And there was our people that weren't in our team, right? But they were fighting in the open world and yeah, they right. were doing stuff. But then as soon as we went through. The building. They disappeared. Yeah. yeah they lock they the server put us in a call it's called an instance where uh it when it, when it, when it got like all cloudy, right? Yeah. Yeah, the no spawning or right. Yeah, is, is that because that's the in, that's the beginning of the instance where that's to make it fair, right? That's to yeah. uh, it, where only only three players could be in that yeah. dimension pretty right. much. It makes it fair and also it's less server lag because it's gotta Yeah. Run, yeah. It, but yeah, that's how that, that's the drop and drop out multiplayer that I, I think you guys said that you liked in the let's play. Yeah. Because I liked it because it makes the world a little bit feel more alive instead yeah, like, of just like yeah, yeah, yeah. random AI that yeah. walks into walls and stuff. And it's just the beta. Yeah. You yep. imagine when it gets released to the like to everyone. to the gamma. No. Well, I mean, <laughs> <bunch of people. laughs> what's the Z one Zulu? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, so. I mean, Bungie's last game was Halo Reach, so I'm kind of thinking uh, there's like that one mission where you're like, I think it's called Oni, where you're like you're in the military base, and then it opens up to like this uh, ring island thing that you go around to, to defeating all the uh, hacking terminals. It was the next mission after. It was like the second mission. Where's this from? Halo Reach. The hacking. Oh, it was like the second mission. Yeah, like right. the, you had the t- you, that was the first time you got the target locator. Yeah. Oh. That that map, you know. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah, yeah. That's map. what I'm kind of picturing for, uh, Destiny. It's like sectioned off areas that were quote free to roam around and stuff, but it isn't as big as Skyrim. 
Yeah. Okay. Which a lot of people are going back and forth on the internet right now, where it's like some say they want more larger alien. I mean, it's got, it's definitely going to be larger than Halo Reach. But I thought it was fine the way it was. But yeah, like people say, it's like too, if it's too big, you're going to get lost and you're not really going to see everything. It's going to be yeah. too much. Which so I think Bungie might find that like ha- has found like a good in between. Mm-hmm. But I don't yeah. know. But, but yeah, it's, if it's going to be like Re- uh, Halo Reach, where it's just like you know a list of like eight maps or something it might get a little bit old you know pl- because i was getting a little bit tired of playing rush up the same yeah. missions over and over again I mean, have like a dlc do like new york i think that'd be kind of cool mm-hmm. all the ruined cities and yeah and ruined new york yeah yeah do that yeah i think that'd be pretty cool yeah right yeah, yeah. or the grand canyon what, uh so what do you think of the ammo system the ammo uh it was uh, like was that the one where you just got like these packs. Yeah, yeah. similar to Halo Reach, especially Halo. the the special ammo. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just had to get them off gear. There was like no place to like fill up all your ammo before you headed out. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I, mean, I th- I think it ma- it's it makes it a little more even. Yeah, because you couldn't get that much of the special ammo. Well, I'm fine with the special ammo being rare or weapon drop. I'm talking just like primary ammo. Like there was like a time where I had to, I had like. Very little ammo in my... In your primary weapon? Primary and secondary. So I had to, like, go around and melee characters uh, to get some ammo. Like, I mean, you can buy uh, ammo packs, and I found out... Yeah. Like, we, I showed it in Let's Play, but uh, I found out those are, like, items. So, like, I well, like during consumables. the raid... Consumables. Yeah, like, they're consumables. Uh, like, during the raid, I used a few packs. Like, I... Those... I can't. never used any. Yeah. It, it's useful. If you remember, and if you if so, yeah, if, if you remember, if you remember, and your teammates cover you while you get well, you to go the to the main menu and you press I don't know use, and then you go back, you reload. What do you think of the menu? Did, was it fluid enough? Or yeah, it was straightforward. It I mean, it was, was. It wasn't complex. What I didn't like was how you go. How you have to go to the tower to to like turn in. Well, that's MMO one on one. Like, uh, what was those um, decrypting things? No, yeah. oh. you had to go all the way to, to, the, to tower, the tower, to go through the it. loading screen. Yeah, yeah. I could see that getting old. Yeah, uh, loading screen, uh, loading times. I think will think will be shortened in the final game. I think it'd be really cool as if you got like an ability where you can do like the encryption yourself. That could be, ah. yeah, could be a skill. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, they're kind of, they're like... They, in another They class. say it's an MMO, yeah, but it's so not like if really you, an MMO. Yeah, so, like, like let's say that... Did you two have, like, And you go you go up to your um, buddy... Yeah. And you interact, yeah. and then yeah, request right. decryption. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! I think that would be really cool. It would be. Did so, you guys have the, the, the same class, or did you have different no, class? We, remember, we I chose... The, each, oh, yeah, we chose... Okay. Different... The middle one. What was it? You chose Hunter. Necro, Hunter, yeah. And you were the Warlock? No, I you was, were Warlock. No, I was Warlock. He was Titan. Oh, oh yeah, I was Titan. Okay. Yeah, which okay. was fitting. I think mine is the best one. <laughs> yeah, it was fitting because... All, all Your the armor cl- was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, armor. And oh, also, all, yeah, all, also yeah. all the classes, yeah. the one you chose was special to the sniper rifle automatically. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't so know. we chose good. Man. Yes. I guess. I it mean, I, I kind of like... Uh, my play style is like... I, I kind of do mix between stealth and like charging ahead of like uh, I'm kind of like medium range mm-hmm. I, I think Necro's close range kind of charging in yep punching yeah. everything and shotguns I'm, I'm like nodding aggressively yes <laughs> <laughs> for people that can't see yes. uh, Mr. Fluffs I don't know you, you seem to I, I can be both yeah, I can be both but I like using the sniper yeah. because it, it yeah. feels awesome to like but you that's that. even, like your short range too like you go in and yeah I, I can do it yeah. I mean I, I have yeah. the gold Fire weapon. Yeah. yeah. You, sh- you uh, you're uh, going to Borderlands. You, uh, you chose Lilith, which is, uh, the Siren, which is a sniper. Well, no, she hers is actually close range. Her class, right? So you, but you don't. But you, I went with sniper. Yeah. <laughs> True. So you should actually do some close range. I mean, you have enough weapons, lots of stuff. But that's another story. Oh my God, uh, obliterates everything. Yes. Yes. So, so yeah, this... <laughs> they're all fighting. <laughs> so I did. Really... All right, pack your bags, guys. <laughs> okay, we're out. We're done here. What? So I, I did look over uh, at the different classes and the different skill trees. One thing I didn't like was uh, the skill, was actually the skill trees. Between the two, the different classes, if you looked at the, uh, compared the 
abilities and stuff. Yeah. They're more or less the same. They what just is there, like, two different, different like, effects? Oh, you mean in between... Yeah. Classes, right? Yeah, between our three classes. Pretty much Pretty much same. had the same thing. We're, like, yeah. mine is Warlock. I'm supposed to have really good abilities, like, magic and stuff. Like, the actual abilities. But then yeah. you guys have, like, Necro can, like... Do like ground pound from space and like kill everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, Some massive explosion. And, and then Mr. Fluffs can like summon like a magic pistol thing that appears out of nowhere. I, yeah. I mean, I'm my class is supposed to be magic, but then it's like everyone has magic. You can just go. Like, eh. That's how you do. Eh. So it, I mean, it felt even, but then also it didn't, you didn't feel special. It felt like anyone could really do it. You didn't feel like my class is special for yeah. this. So it should be a yeah. little bit more like unique, or yeah, more I felt unique. a little bit unique. I mean, later on, uh, I saw like my fly, uh, like I couldn't fly as hard, high as you guys, but later on, I can teleport yeah. between po- places. Yours uh, like jump the highest, like I remember double jump. Yeah, you yeah, did the yeah, double and jump. then you can upgrade it to a triple jump. Yeah. I yeah, saw that. Absolutely. Yeah, right, actually, like, you could jump like midway or also or yeah well yeah, double jump the, the double jump yeah. yeah so i don't know if it's just because we were all just low level and we didn't Probably. really see the full cast of thing <laughs> i would like to see more skills in the skill tree because it seemed like not that many yeah skills. yeah it was your it's like i got it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it looked like just Wait about for us. what eight skills and then after that it was just the upgrade to those skills yeah yeah. yeah. Did you guys get to level 9 or did you get that level there, 9? You can't get to level yeah, 9. Got, okay. So none the of cap, us did. <laughs> the cap okay, was level yeah, 8. Was, okay. I mean, technically I did, but I, yeah. I didn't show. Yeah. So I kept killing guys. I'm like, why isn't that moving up? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a bug. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, did you, oh, so you, got, so you did get to it at level 8? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. okay. It, well, yeah. He, when we joined, like we were all level 8 and then... It's pretty much annihilated everyone. Uh, and what, then it shut down. So, <laughs> one big staple of the Halo series was the music. What did you guys think of the Destiny music? Uh, it was good. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I don't remember it much. I think it was like a, it was mostly like violins or I don't know what it was. something like that. Uh, I mean, uh, it was done by the same guy that did the Halo music. Uh, I think yeah. it's Frank O'Connor. Uh, I like the. I like they had like a battle music. I thought that was yeah. Cool. I did like the different types of music and stuff. And then they, there was one where you were just kind of roaming around, and it was kind of like a soothing. Yeah, soothing. I don't know what you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> soothing. Tranquil. I mean, I don't really Tranquil. listen to music that much because uh, I mean, it, I have to kind of mute it or something for let's plays or something. So, and that's mm-hmm. all I do is let's plays. So I don't yeah. really get to appreciate music. But this one I liked and I appreciated. And but uh, what I was saying about before was uh, Frank O'Connor, he actually uh, was let go from Bungie mid-project of Destiny. So we don't really know if his music is part of it. From what I heard so far, it sounded like he did have an impression on it. And then I don't know if he completed it. And then I was like, okay, you can go now, kind of thing. So, I mean, there was, you a, die here. There was oh. some legal battles between Bungie and Frank O'Connor, which is unfortunate. But I don't know. Maybe he'll go back to uh, Halo at 343 Studios. Yeah. yeah so... So, uh, let's, uh, I think the last thing to talk about is the PvP thing that we did. Crucible? Is oh, it, yeah, the Crucible. Was it, was yeah, it, yeah that's, crucible. that's the Crucible. Yeah. I do have a couple points on that. Oh, yeah, you guys also have points. Well, yeah, did you, I mean, we're just generally going through it, and then we're going to, like, list. Mine's kind of, like, for the whole game, but, yeah. You had some on Crucible. What, what, what? <laughs> it's all on you, Mr. Fluss. Ah, why'd you do this? Okay. We'll a big shut. one. Uh, uh. A big one is okay. You upgraded all your weapons in campaign, correct? Yeah. And you carried over that weapon onto the online. Right. What? Everyone did. Yeah. Right. So the good players had a huge advantage over you. I, don't know. Uh, I was yeah. I was kind of like killing a lot of the level eight player players when we were playing. I was like level f- five or four or something. But I do. T- uh, I do like see a sign like it, it, it isn't really fair because I mean yeah they, I mean in the Halo in all shooter games yeah. with online they have preset loadouts yeah like you have a selection and then yeah you well no like, I mean Titanfall I think, and stuff you can like customize later on but like Halo but it was about, pretty much the same yeah, like uh, like Halo is all about skill where this one was kind of like if you had the most experience then you would just topple over everyone well I don't think in the final game they're gonna have 
a level one person going up against a level ninety nine. Oh my god, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> oh no, it's even worse when that level one kills the level ninety. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's that like sucks. it's yes, you get all your big weapons and stuff, but it also at the same time you die just as easily as everyone else. Like you do get a little bit of armor between levels, but it didn't really matter that much compared to other players. Uh, like it seemed that even that when we played PvP, like I, like I said, I got like multiple headshots at, of level eights. I even took out my big huge rocket launcher gun, got like five kills at once. Or no, no, like, you did not. It was, it was three kills. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're three. Like a level one guy at level ninety, like he's trying to fire, you know, and it's barely deflecting off, and then the uh, like level ninety guy just punches him, and he just evaporates. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> just flicks him with his finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, I you like see it. a mushroom cloud in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I, I like one my, more thing. I like okay. multiplayer. At the end of the Crucible game, yes, yep. Uh, some players randomly got a reward. Oh, oh yeah, I did like that. It was random though. Yeah, it was it like you get a weapon so, or anything? Or? Yeah, so if you did, you were the best player in the game. Yeah, and you didn't get a weapon, but then you see one of the suckiest players gets a good yeah. weapon. No, nah, I saw everyone got weapons. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. There was a couple times when I did it. How many games did you play on the Crucible? Uh, five. There you go. I played two. I played more than five. More than five? I was I played for like a good two hours on the Crucible. Well, you might have gotten more money instead. I know like something, like you do get money and then you get prizes, which I do like because it, it gives like multiplayer a little bit. It, you get like good gear in multiplayer and then you can use it in the campaign I do like how it kind of goes back and forth a little bit mm-hmm. like with Halo or like the Call of Duty series and stuff it was like separate a little bit I mean yeah so yeah. you had to like play it was like two games that you had to play and if you don't have much time then you can only do one so then it's like well which one would you do so I ah. I like the multiplayer. It was a little bit more balanced. Yeah. I think I would actually play the multiplayer in Destiny. Really? Yeah. Like, I played a little bit of Reach and other Halo multiplayer. Uh-huh. But... And they don't seem balanced to you? No, they were balanced, but this one seems more fun, is what I'm saying. Yeah. What? Yeah. Never because seen. of the powers, I think. No, it just... Like, it just seemed balanced, or... I don't know. It, just, it was just chaos and... I had fun. That's all. Review over. <laughs> of the, the and then it was just uh, pretty much uh, yeah. what's what's that kind of g- gameplay game mode called? Uh, capture the flag. No, it's not capture the flag. Yes, it was. Oh, uh, no, no, yeah, we zone do, something. Yeah, we didn't do a uh, capture flag. We did. Uh, there was flags involved, but it was yeah. Uh, but you could move them. Right. It was uh, capture the points or something. Capture bases. Uh, Step control base. point. Step. I think it's control point. Something like that. Yeah, you could, you have to take all the points yeah, and then you get points for yeah. having all the bases or something. Is, Some, it not, is it not called stronghold? I think that's a. Or is that somewhere that's a ver- else? That's a stronghold. That's just another word for whatever series you're thinking of. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, I do like. It might be Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Okay. Uh, I stronghold. would like more game modes though. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, there yeah. will be golf. No. <laughs> well, they did have uh, what was the game in uh, Halo? Yeah. Uh, game. Gri- Griff Ball. Griff Ball. Yeah. yeah. They did have Griff Ball. Yeah. We have to score and too. That, and that did bring up an interesting, <laughs> interesting point. Uh, I mean, Bungie is all about like you know they have like the camera studio theater mode. Do they have it on Destiny? Well, not in the beta, but I'm saying right. I'm asking, would they have that? And there's also Forge mode in Halo. Yeah. Would do they want to tackle that Ooh. monster again? Yeah, That'd Necro. Interesting. Necro was very big into the, the Forge thing. Yeah, well, just for the Reach one. Yeah. I, it it would make it much better. It would That'd be interesting. I mean, it, would, it would. It would make it more um, kind of like. But like, it would almost have to be like you would make like a, a, a like a, but this is map or something. Well, I mean, because like you're not gonna make a whole level, you know. I mean, well, I think they would just do. Uh, do what they did for like the campaign missions like it was the same area but different yeah. missions for the same land 
or yeah. buildings. So I, I kind of see like you can have like different buildings and then players can make a mission like yeah. you have to defend this core for like a minute or so and do like do you remember missions, custom missions? I like the I like the infamous two where you were able to make your own gameplay thing. I know of it. I, I yeah. tried it for like five minutes and I said this is stupid. Uh, on what? Quit. <laughs> on what? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, it was uh, infamous two. You it's a. PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. Never mind. They had this thing. <laughs> Forget where, I asked. That's why I didn't answer. Yeah. Where you can make like your own level. Like they gave you all the resources to make it, and you know, but things that didn't. I'm wondering like. what vehicles they would have because Bungie was also uh, also very big on vehicles, on vehicles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just saw. I did. Uh, did you guys? What did you guys feel like uh, summoning a bike at will? That was pretty cool. It. Yeah. yeah since it's a, it, there, there's they're big maps. It's. Yeah. Really useful. Usually, like in a. But is it only going to be the bike? Well, well, you I, can customize the bike. But is it only going to be the bike? I saw someone mm-hmm. that passed by that they had like a. It was like a different bike. Oh well, yeah, there's yeah. Different, there's different model. models. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can also do that for thing. ships and other skins yeah. and yeah. flags. Yeah. There's lots of customization and stuff. Yeah, but like then you also have to rank up with that crew. Yeah. And like, yeah, like you know, suck up to them, and then you. Yeah, you that's your, pretty much what you do. That's yeah. what I saw too. Yeah. Like you, you kind of get to pick. You have to do like a guild, kind of, and then you do their missions and you go up. You have to join their click. Well, yeah. No, that, but that is like traditional MMOs. Like you guys haven't played MMOs. No. But it's like that. Also, I do like how the bike is available at level one. Usually MMOs, mm-hmm. you get yeah. it at level 20. Wow. So it kind of sucks for like the good part of it. And then you go a little bit faster, but then also at level 20, the lands get much bigger so then it kind of evens out still so then it still sucks so hmm. like that's the joy reason, of MMO yeah. <laughs> but like the other reason why I like the bike was uh, like it kind of reminded me of the Star Wars bike thing oh yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. yeah and if you pre-order it from GameStop they're gonna have the exclusive skin yeah mm. oh that's one thing I wanted to get to during a podcast was the GameStop thing next podcast uh, or we'll talk about later okay uh, so yeah any uh I kind of went through all my uh, major points. I mean, we'll still have our review and stuff, but there, was there any parts of the game that you guys wanted to talk about that we didn't get to? I want to point something out. Yes. Did you guys encounter those enemies that had the question mark level? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I did. What was that? That, uh... Well, Is it, of, was that, like, part of the campaign but not available uh, yet? It's, uh... Well, did you experience that at low levels? No, I was at top level. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, so it was like an ogre. Yeah, like part. I went uh, into this one area where, uh, you know, but like I fired on one, and if you fire on it, the the question mark changes. It, it changes? actually shows like a level. But like when oh. I was trying to fight it, it said level nineteen. I'm like, whoa! No wonder, <laughs> no wonder I can't kill this thing. So, yeah, uh, it, it like looked pretty much impossible yeah. to beat on beta. I don't know if yeah. that, that's well, a, you could probably could with like enough people to gang no, up on it. No, because they were ganging up on him. Oh, well. Didn't seem like so it. let me explain the question mark. So it, this is actually present in like our games. Like it is actually, I think it is actually in Borderlands, where if you are yeah. level ten and you go up a level forty, it just shows a question mark because it's so high leveled you don't even. Wasn't know. it like red? Like it shows. It shows a skull. Oh, sh- uh, yeah. Yeah, it shows yeah. a skull. It, it just, like, hides it. So it kind of... It, so it was, a, like, a really high level that we can't get to yet? Yeah, it was just... Uh, that's one thing I noticed about the... There was, like, level tw- 20 items in stores and stuff that... You yeah, couldn't. that didn't make sense. Like yeah. Made, like, it, was, it was just... Well, we, we can't get it! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only level 8! Yeah, like, I've seen the few videos where, like, people are saying, I'm saving up for this one gun. I was like, level 20, I'm like, not going to get that. Right. <laughs> Uh, I think it was just a placeholder just to show what is available instead of, like, yeah. the store being empty. You oh, know, a bunch okay. of just wanted to show, here's what eventually you can be able to get to. Like, I mean, it was all purple guns, you know, like, well, in, like, MMOs, yeah. it's, like, you know, the colors matter, and purple's the highest of all yeah. the weapon Purple types. is the awesomest. Yes. I was happy about that. <laughs> uh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, any other points that you want to go through? Or do you want to just go to our reviews? I think I'm pretty. Much I did like good. how, uh, like you know, like you can revive you know like teammates, but mm. you can also uh, like revive like a random stranger. Yeah, like you know, and they could world. also ignore you. Yeah, and yeah. they could also <laughs> ignore you too. Which, yeah. but like I thought that was kind of cool. Waiting to uh, be revived, and they just walk past you. I mean, there was something I wanted to say, but I forget. 
what it was. But you forgot. Yeah, I've forgotten. But there was something about the death. Oh, I know. Uh, death didn't really have any kind of negative consequence. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of curious. Yeah, about that's that. true. I didn't like, like that at all. That's Do you true. lose? I was like, no, oh, no, I'm about no. to die. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, like no penalty whatsoever. I don't know if that's just because of beta or if I, that I, will if be. I think it's it seems to be staying. Well, no, the, Bungie did say like they're going to change a few things that, that did come up, some major things. So, I mean that I don't I don't think they could just do the Borderlands thing where if you die you lose money. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of. Well, what else? Or like you could, could lose the penalty like, be? somewhat like experience. Well, like in what or... in like World of Warcraft or other MMOs, when you die, your armor takes a huge hit, so mm. you have to constantly go and repair it. But if you go back to your where you died, what your armor will be damaged and you won't be as powerful. So it kind of slowly weakens you as you die more and more. So they might do that. Where I mean, armor repair thing might be interesting. I don't know. I kind of would want like I don't really understand the money. Also, me either. I, I I saw like three different types of currencies. I think. Well, there's crafting items, which is used for that you get through the level, and also dismantling guns, which is also the only way I n- noticed that you sell quote unquote guns which I didn't really understand I thought you could like I think it would be good to actually sell guns to actually get money because there's like sometimes like I had like tons of guns but no money to buy like ammo packs or anything Mm -hmm. but uh so crafting packs you either dismantle or you find in your world those were like those silver plants you find those you use to upgrade your armor and guns yeah see that's another one planet specific too it's like on the moon there was like a different plant thing that you collected Hmm. uh and then those are the kind of things I don't like. Yeah, I like crafting. And all stuff. the collectible kind of well, collecti- things. <sighs> yeah, like that. I don't like that. Weird. I wonder if like there would be a auction thing. shop, like you know, like on MMOs and stuff. You can like sell stuff to other players. It's called a, like an auction house. Mm-hmm. I wonder. You can do that. Well, no. Uh, I don't know. That would be interesting. I mean, they like they said, like it's gonna be like an MMO, but not traditional MMO. It's gonna be MMO ish. So. I don't know. So I'm ready for my review. Are you guys ready for your review? Yeah. yeah. Of what? The Destiny. We're going to go through like our pros and cons, like kind of do summarize, and then we're going to. Didn't gonna, we just do it? We did. went over the main points. Now we're going to mm-hmm. do a summarized version. Let's go. Then do our score. All right. Go ahead. So I'm going to go first to show right. you how this is done. So, like I said, I like the controls, the raids, gear, and three man crews. I like the music, uh, PvP. I liked it. It was fun. Uh, multiplayer, easy drop in, drop out with friends. It was very smooth, like for especially for a beta. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really like the map sizes. Maybe that will change later. Uh, skill trees, enough kill, not enough kills, ground, not enough enemies to kill, especially if you're in a big group. Uh, storytelling could be better, but yeah. Um. This is going to be like a next gen frame, but we're getting on 360. So I, I don't know, for the beta itself, are we just reviewing just the beta? Or are we yeah. reviewing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just for yeah. the beta. So for the beta, I thought it was pretty good for a beta. For my impressions so far of the game and stuff, I'm kind of, I mean, it's a beta of the game. You kind of have to review the game so far. But mm-hmm. I'm so interested. I'm very interested in playing it. I think it's a good thing for our Let's Plays and stuff. So I'd give it. I give it a good solid eight. It's good, but I feel like a lot of places could be improved on. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go next? Mr. Fluffs. Okay. I, I really like I no, I no, I'm not gonna say I like it. I'm gonna say I really like this game. So it's different. It's yeah, yeah, it's different. That's why I like it, because it's different and it works. I don't know if it's because it's pretty much one of the first MMOs that I've played. It's not really an MMO, but MMO-ish. Yeah. And I really like it. Are all MMOs like this? More or less. It's uh, a little bit more grindy. You, you have to do like lots of killing of enemies and go and do get five pelts of wolf here and turn in quest here. Huh. You'll that see I don't like. But okay, Destiny, I like. Crucible Online, I like how they join all all the... They join the main missions, 
with online. They, it's kind of like all together, but uh, drop in, drop out, drop in, drop out. Vehicle, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Public events. Oh yeah, never. Got the, best. the best. The yeah. best. Like I'll it. give it a solid nine. Solid nine. Yeah. Solid nine. Yeah. Not a high nine. Like a high nine that's almost ten, but it's just shy of. Well, what's a ten? Good question. Have we seen one? I don't think we have. Have we seen one? Is there even a game Minecraft. that's ten out of ten? <laughs> Minecraft. Ah, well, I've, I've been playing Minecraft for like four, four well, years. Well, Minecraft, now. Minecraft can be a five or it can be a ten. It depends on, you know, the mods and. Yeah, because you're pretty much creating your it, own. It all depends. We're getting off track. It sure. all depends on you. Yeah, we're getting off track. This is a Justin review, not a Minecraft review. Yes. Minecraft review will come out next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, Necrophane. Destiny. I love, I like the multiplayer feel. Uh, I thought the graphics were really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What else? And you guys uh, only play in 360. Yep. That is true. It was good for a 360 game. Yes. Uh, I thought the, like, story was good. I mean, uh, like, it was intriguing. You know, I know that they're not going to give you the full thing. True. You know, but it was, you know, intriguing enough where, okay, what's this darkness? I want to find out what this is. Uh, the controls were straightforward uh, it wasn't too complex mm-hmm. I you know I was able to figure it out like you know, <laughs> I mean from like saying a lot you know from like <laughs> a lot of different games it's it's taken me hours just to figure out but this one was pretty straightforward right I yeah 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 it's true next we're approved of control so yeah <laughs> um, also like I like how you know uh, like you can revive and you can revive like a random stranger and then like you said they can also ignore you yeah 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 so um <laughs> uh, Let's see. I like how, like, in certain areas, you can't respond, so it makes it a little more challenging. You almost have to figure out, like, a strategy mm-hmm. to defeat the bosses. Uh, as for cons, I can't really say anything bad because I haven't seen the full game yet. That This is still beta, but, mm. uh, you know... It was just, like, nitpicks, really. Yeah, just... Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it full-on, I think it's a solid nine. So nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nine yeah. gauntlets. Nine gauntlets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nine paws. Eight hats. Yeah, it was eight hats. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So if you guys think that staying here till eleven that night playing Destiny, wait till you play like a real ML. We're gonna be here till next week. <laughs>